Our government adds thousands of new laws every year. The feds alone added 80,000 pages of new regulations just last year. Add in state and local laws, and we're drowning in rules. But just disobeying one of these could lead to the police locking me up. So given that the police have the power to lock me up or shoot me, it's important that we be able to keep an eye on them. Fortunately, that's easier today because even our phones have cameras. And a camera is a powerful tool Sir, for, take your hands as the off. Romans said, Sir, watching the watch. Excuse me. You're going away. You're going to be arrested for trespass. <laughs> The problem is that often the watchmen don't want to be watched. In Jones County, Mississippi, a highway patrolman told Pete Ayer, stop your RV. Pete's an activist who likes to videotape encounters with authorities. Yes, sir. Open that side door for me, man. Turn that camera off, dude. What's that? You filming? Yeah. Turn it off. How come? Are you filming me? Yes. Turn it off for me. He'd broken no traffic laws, but maybe the police were suspicious of shirtless, tattooed Pete and his big trailer with New Hampshire plates. Pete's friend filmed the encounter and said, I would like to keep everybody accountable in this situation. Apparently, this officer didn't like that. Okay. Another arrived and said, I'm not shutting it off, officer. Well, are you going to jail? Excuse me? Sir. The cops grabbed his camera and arrested him and his friends. They held us in jail, wouldn't let us make phone calls. After about 12 hours, the police let them go. They charged me with uh, possession of a beer in a dry county because there was one unopened beer in the refrigerator of the RV. They had nothing else to stick on me. They couldn't charge him with filming the police because that's legal. And that's a good thing. Just outside my office, a cop claimed a bicyclist rode into him on purpose. But then this video turned up and showed that the officer was the aggressor. That cop was eventually fired. Maybe video like this is why some don't want to be filmed. You guys need something? I'm just, this is my front yard. I'm just recording what you're doing. It's my right. Actually, not from the sidewalk. This is my yard. In Rochester, New York, when Emily Good heard police stopping a driver outside her house, she went out on her front lawn to film the encounter. What One did officer didn't you? like that. You? I'm behind us officers when we're doing a, pu a traffic stop. I'm allowed to stand in my yard. Well, stand in your house. I'm allowed to stand in my yard. I'm, I'm going to stay in I was in cotton pajamas. You could tell I was holding nothing. I, I don't think that there's any reason to feel threatened. All I have is a camera. I'm clearly wearing nothing. I have no weapons. It does not matter. You know what? Gonna go to jail. I'm observing what they're doing and they're arresting me. I don't understand what's going on. The officer took her to jail and charged her with obstructing governmental administration. I did nothing. I did nothing. I'm not doing I think that the young police officer is high on his power. High on his power is a little harsh. Mm -hmm. He's doing his job. No, it's not his job to take people, uh, uh, observers, from their own property and put them in jail. A month later, Emily put this video online. It was viewed thousands of times, and some viewers criticized the police. So you post the video on YouTube, and they come back. In uniform, four officers. Police showed up outside a meeting of Emily and her friends and started writing tickets for parking violations, like parking farther than 12 inches from the curb. Can I see it? Can I see the ruler? Her friend taped that. Okay, that's 12 inches from the curb. After the media picked up on the story, the police chief said his officer's actions were inappropriate. Charges against Emily were dropped, but no officer was ever punished. They never are, as far as we know, even when they arrest news cameramen. Go away, go away now! Go, go away go? now! Phil Dads tried to film a police pursuit. All right, you're going away. Okay, I'm, I'm on the way, but I'm, I'm asking you, you know, because it's to... Because it's an active scene and you're leaving. Okay, where can I stand All right, no place. Go, go away, no. He went away. He moved across the street, but then the officer drove up to him there. Sergeant, I told PIO they told me to go back to the Put it down. Open. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. You're under arrest. They charged Phil with obstructing government. Did you obstruct the government? Absolutely not. At the point I was arrested, I was probably a thousand feet away from the officers. Charges were dropped, but again, the officer was never punished. None of the officers who arrested Pete, Emily, or Phil would talk to us, but the head of one police union sent us this written comment.
He says this has become a serious safety issue. I'm afraid something terrible will happen. Well, the opposite is true, because if the, if the officers are doing the right thing, the video is going to show that. True. This hijacker rammed a cop car. The officer shot the hijacker, killed him, and then was exonerated of murder because this video showed he'd acted in self-defense. Are you recording me right now? Yes. Some officers now understand that it's just part of the job to be filmed. If you're a police officer, what do you want to do? Make sure it's safe, right? Correct. Well, it should look good on YouTube either way. So let's give three cheers for Officer Matt Lyons of Oceanside, California. Make sure you get a good picture of me so you know exactly what I look like. It's refreshing to hear an officer welcome a camera. And remember, my name is Officer Lyons with the Oceanside Police Department. My badge number is 1093. God bless America.